Hello and welcome to the second lesson of learning PHP and today we're going to go over the isSet function. Now normally I would make this into the functions chapter of this tutorial series but as this is going to be something we're going to use very early on in the development stage of this tutorial series I'm going to teach you right at the start just so you can get your head around it now. It's also very easy to learn right from the start so you don't have to worry about that too. So let's jump straight into this tutorial. For this tutorial, we're going to be working in Dreamweaver's CS6, but don't worry, you can work in any text editor. A good free text editor to work in is Notepad++. Now what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be opening the PHP tags and closing the PHP tags. So, let's open the PHP tags and go down a few lines and close the PHP tag. Now, what we need to do is we need to create a variable, and I'm just going to call this var, and it's going to be equal to a string of text. Once we've got this var, we can then do an if condition. So how we do an if condition is we just type in if open bracket close bracket is set and then open bracket again and then the variable. So let's do var. Now this basically says if the variable of var is set then we're going to do whatever comes or whatever falls into these curly braces which we put in here. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to echo out something back to the user. So let's just say var is set if this is true. Okay, what we can also do is an else condition. Now this goes on to the if closing curly brace and it basically just says else if the other option meaning it doesn't exist then var then we'll echo out var do, is not set like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be creating a, another if condition which is exactly the same as the top one but instead of var I'm just going to use the variable var2 which you notice nowhere on my document has it been set. So what we should see here is that we should see var is set and var2 is not set. So let me just write out this else condition quickly. Okay, so once that's done, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put in a new line break at the end of each sentence. Okay, so now that I've done that, I can go to Google Chrome and I can refresh, and you can see that var is set and var2 is not set. Now if we go back into Dreamweaver and change this variable name to var2, save and refresh, you can see it swaps around saying var is not set and var2 is set. Now we're going to go back into Dreamweaver and we're just going to copy this and we're going to create a new variable named var so we have both var and var2 and now you can see that both of them are set. So that's basically how you check if a variable is set in PHP. This is a very very quick tutorial and just going over the basis because you'll need to know it for the tutorials coming up next. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it keeps my content rolling onto YouTube and also subscribe to my channel. So thank you and goodbye.